to the Rebel Watch. In today's episode, we have a diver from a US company named Invicta, that is invincible in Latin. Originally, it was a Swiss company founded in 1837 in Chiasso, uh, Switzerland. Uh, their motto was expertly build watches for great price. But after the 80s, within the great quartz crisis, the company went bankrupt. In 1991, it was uh, bought by their new American owners and the uh, level was created by Blancpain in 1953 and it was called 50 Fathoms. It had turning bezel, screw down crown and great overall uh, water ceiling. That's pretty much all a diver should do nowadays. Invicta Pro Diver, which is model 8926, comes with a big yellow case that makes a great impact as a gift, it's nice, but not so practical when you have to store it. Uh, it has a dial of 40 millimeters, has 47 millimeters lock to lock, and it's this one is very thick. It's 14.2 millimeters with it's pretty heavy at 145 grams and it's made in stainless steel the screen is made in mineral crystal that means it will scratch and also has a cyclops that uh, will help you see better the data window the one i chose has this type of bezel and i can say that it's quite uh, hard to turn off the bezel you have to consider the coin edge as more suitable and easier to grip to turn around. Also plenty color of um, variation of this watch and you can choose va various dials, hands, even bezels and colors. There are several Pepsi, there are also two tones and pretty much everything. Invicta also has a better value type of divers, the ones that they call Swiss made and they came with the Celita movement and they also pack uh, Sapphire Crystal. But the price on that it's uh, much uh, more than this one. So you need to weigh it in uh, on the option. Also, if you would like to go cheaper than this one, they also have uh, another version in quartz. And um, I'll see you further two watches side by side as it was my first purchase, the quartz one. And after seeing several other videos, finding a great deal on Amazon, I decided to buy the automatic and I uh, definitely recommend you the NH35 version. The best thing on this watch is the movement. It's a Seiko NH35A, as you can see from the picture below, uh, with the exhibition case and the yellow rotor with that markings of Invicta and also uh, product design in USA. Movement, it uh, hacks, it winds, it's very reliable, it's serviceable, easy to swap and on this value, I mean, if you buy just the movement, it's the same or more expensive than the watch itself. So that's where the real value comes on this uh, watch. So on the back of this case, as you can see, it has an exhibition case. Wearing the watch, it looks beautiful, but when you wear it, you will see that it's thick. The mineral crystal for me are the only two disadvantages of this watch. Beside that, you have to understand that for a sub $100, this watch gives you pretty much everything you need. This is why it's purchase, and this is why everybody seems to buy one as their first uh, mechanical automatic watch. But um, there are other things that are strange. Uh, for me as an European is not big of a deal, but for a US citizen I've seen a lot of heavy marketing on this uh, Invicta. Just the type of buy one and you get three. And the old pricing of these watches as they show you that the value is much much bigger than for the one they sold it, they sell it it's not a great thing in the long run and this is why 
there is a little bit of hate over uh, this brand. But um, you also have to take into consideration that older watches are very respected for the, from the watch community and they seem to enjoy it. Okay, then what if you really don't care about branding, about history, you don't care about the back of your watch as is, when you wear it you cannot see it? What is an alternative that uses the same movement, the NH35? has a sapphire crystal, so it won't scratch as easily, a ceramic bezel, and what if I tell you it's a sub $100 just as this Invicta? Well, that will be the Cadison that uh, I'll uh, show you, that is model C8206G, typical about Chinese makers, because I didn't have any contact with any Chinese watch before, so I had to figure out how the quality and why everybody is talking about this type of watches on YouTube. So I brought myself my first Cadison. And I have to admit that there were some uh, things on the quality of the watch that I was not impressed. The bezel was not perfectly aligned, packed um, Yota movement, the 8215, and it was um, an homage to Panerai. But uh, I was quite amazed by the quality of the watch and the value. So after seeing several videos on YouTube, I tried and uh, bought myself this model and uh, I don't uh, expect to enjoy it as much as uh, I did. So I kept on wearing for uh, several months already and I can tell you that this is one of my favorite new watches that I purchased myself and it was uh, the first watch that I buy from Aliexpress but this video is not sponsored and uh, I just want to show you as uh, they are very different from the Invicta so to me uh, it is a watch that it's different or completely opposite of the Invicta but I like them both I enjoy them both I wear them both and uh, if I have to swap them with only one watch one diver that will be a Doxa sub 200 in blue and I think that will be my only perfect diver that I would uh, like to wear please like this video and subscribe to the rebel watch